about um, being serious and talking about doing things better going forward. I think this interview that I'm going to share here, which I was graciously invited to do by Lashland, so big up him for reaching out to me. Um, you know, it, it's been interesting. I feel like, especially during the pandemic, I feel like I took this thing a little bit more seriously. I was a bit more consistent with my uploads, especially when it came to talking about the comedian stuff. But again, you guys know, especially on the podcast side of things, I'm not really somebody that likes to talk about that stuff a lot. But because the views are what they are, I kind of have to feed the streets and give the people what they need. But if it was up to me, I would much prefer to be doing this full time in terms of talking about this cultural stuff that I like to talk about as opposed to ragging on these LA based comedians because they can get boring after a while there's only so much ragging on Brenda Shaw you can do until you want to bloody blow your brains out but I feel like ever since I've basically just I've been attacking it on both fronts and um, mostly during the pandemic because locked inside I have nothing to do and then just now because I've working from home so I've got the luxury to kind of switch between two things very quickly I don't have to travel back or anything or go somewhere you know that kind of takes a couple of hours out of your kind of day it makes it easier for me to record in the morning or record in the evenings. And I feel like that consistency has basically got me on some people's radar who I probably wouldn't have been on their radar beforehand because I was just doing it here and there. And I feel like that consistency ended up getting me this interview, which I thought was really cool. I haven't read it because I just feel weird and awkward about doing self-promotion in the first place. The fact that my face is here and my face is there again on the screen is just bizarre. Or there, not here, there. It's just strange to me. I can't really handle that kind of thing. But in this world where you're wanting to... Um, in this world where you're wanting to present yourself as some kind of authority or inform people of the things that you do and let it be known what you do, how you do it, it's probably important to kind of put your stuff out there. And I guess this is one of them. So big up Lashland for doing this interview with me. It's a really good one in terms of giving you an out, a kind of a, a bit of a summary of kind of what I'm about and what I'm, you know, what my thoughts and feelings are on certain topics. I quickly scan down so you can see some of the headings there on his era of promoting parties, on techno tourism, on Paris, on honestly never mind six months later removed, on skateboarding, on these brilliant Asian colleagues in Central St. Martins, on the scene politics and five year tenure at Nike, on the podcast and a few other bits as well you can see. So if you want to check that out and get an idea on what I'm about and stuff and some of the things I've kind of informed who I am as a person and whatnot, definitely check out this Lash Lance um, Substack. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check it out yourself. But it's called Agostino, Agostino Zinga Celestial Navigation. Brilliant title, actually. If I say so myself, broadcasting from London to the universe. So definitely check it out and give the guy a follow and subscribe to his um, Substack and whatnot and check out the things that he's going to do in the future because I think he has a definitely bright future in writing these kind of pieces about people, especially someone like myself who kind of you know I struggle in terms of communicating things about what I do and what I'm into kind of outside of this little podcast I do which is just kind of essentially just a platform for me to basically speak to things about I'm interested in when it comes to shining the light back on me it can get a bit weird as you can tell from the mushy mouth um, explanation that I'm doing here clearly I'm being a bit nervous about this whole thing but yeah shy nervous a bit embarrassed but still I think it's really really well done and I absolutely love the picture so definitely check it out if you haven't got the opportunity as you can see there got the Irax supreme gloves and the blur there shining through in the streets of Shoreditch and whatnot me you know doing my thing so definitely check it out if you haven't already it's really really nice good interview great guy definitely support it if you can please support it if you 